Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. This is the third video in a series all about item and material progression in Valheim. It shows you the various bottlenecks and the things that you need to find in order to craft different stuff. Especially here in this video in the Mistlands, it can be quite confusing figuring out everything you need and where to get it. So this video is going to simplify that process for you. The next unlocks all come from the Mistlands, the current most hardcore area in Valheim. And something that makes all of this so hardcore is that you can't even collect these things unless you're using black metal gear. So in order to get this tree here, you have to have a black metal axe, which means you have to have killed Motor. Alternatively, you could use one of the Mistlands monsters to farm the tree. So it's not technically impossible, but it's a lot of effort to do it that way. Destroying the tree is going to allow you to get Yggdrasil wood. And this is really, really important resource for magic and a bunch of other stuff. And as far as building materials go, you'll find all sorts of stuff in the Mistlands built out of this black marble. This is just a little statue structure, but you can even find buildings here. Once you loot some black marble, you'll unlock a whole bunch of different build pieces. You can see here all of these different black marble items. In order to build them, you just need to make a stone cutter, which is just two iron, some wood, and some stone. In the Mistlands, you'll also find these Dverger camps and Dverger structures. And if you go into the structure, you'll usually find one of these weapon these Dverger component crates. Be careful though, because if you try and loot this, all these Dverger are gonna try and kill you. Destroying the crate will drop this Dverger extractor, which is a very important part of Mislin's progression. Now that you have some black marble, your extractor, and you've looted some wood, then the rest of the progression is all about these things, these ancient roots. What you'll do is use that extractor in order to build this sap extractor. You'll need 10 Yggdrasil wood, 5 black metal, and the Dverger extractor. Once you build the extractor, you have to put it into the ancient root. And then it's basically going to slowly suck up this stuff called sap. As time passes, you can collect the sap. And sap in its current form isn't usable. To actually use the sap and process it, you'll have to find some of these abandoned mines, which are full of really dangerous enemies like Seekers. As you explore, you'll find these hidden doors, and inside the hidden door is what you're really looking for. Not the gold, not the treasure chests, but this thing, this black core. Black cores are basically upgraded Sirdling cores. The black core will allow you to build an Eater Refinery, the new forge allowing you to make the best armor and weapons in the game, and the Mage Table. And this is how you make all of the magic staffs and magic items. All of these revolve around you getting that sap stuff from earlier, making one of these refineries, and then throwing the sap in. But it's not just the sap. You also need to find a fuel. And to find the fuel, you're gonna have to go into the mist. Then we're gonna find the resource that we need to fuel this to then make all the stuff from the mistlands. And if you're lucky, you'll find one of these skulls, these big petrified bone skulls. And by using your black metal pickaxe, you'll get black marble from this petrified bone, but not just black marble. After you cut away the outer skull, you'll get this to the inside, this soft tissue. And this stuff, soft tissue, is how you progress through. Because this is the fuel. All you have to do is go to the top and put all the soft tissue in. And then your Eater Refinery will start destroying all the objects near it and giving you the holy grail of the Mistlands, Refined Eater. Refined Eater is how you make everything, all of the best weapons, and all of the best magic, and even all of the best armor. So you're going to be getting a lot of this soft tissue after you've gotten those black cores. Soft tissue and sap are going to be the key to everything. That's it for this video, everybody. Now, I didn't cover 
every single item that you can get, but I hope that this video has helped you understand some of the main bottlenecks and the materials that you need to collect in order to progress and make the better gear, items, and weapons. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to support my work and keep me making Valheim videos, then please consider purchasing a Valheim dedicated server through my tutorial from Zap. You can see it here. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have a suggestion for something I could make a tutorial about. I'd love to hear it. I enjoy making these videos and especially making tutorials in response to comments from you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.